Saint Theophanes the Confessor Greek, Theophanes Homologets c. 758–760 March 12, 817–818 was a member of the Byzantine aristocracy, who became a monk and chronicler. He is venerated on March 12 in the Eastern Orthodox Church and the Roman Catholic Church. Biography <inaudible> 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 Theophanes was born in Constantinople of wealthy and noble iconodule parents, Isaac, imperial governor of the islands of the Black Sea, and Theodora, of whose family nothing is known. His father died when Theophanes was three years old, and the Byzantine emperor Constantine V subsequently saw to the boy's education and upbringing at the imperial court. Theophanes would hold several offices under this patron. He was married at the age of 12, but convinced his wife to lead a life of virginity. In 799, after the death of his father-in-law, they separated with mutual consent to embrace the religious life. She chose a convent on an island near Constantinople, while he entered the Polychronius Monastery, located in the district of Sigion near Syzicus on the Asian side of the Sea of Marmara. Later, he built a monastery on his own lands on the island of Calinimus now Calimio. .After six years he returned to Sigriano, where he founded an abbey known by the name of the Great Acre, and governed it as abbot. In this position of leadership, he was present at the Second General Council of Nicaea in 787, and signed its decrees in defense of the veneration of icons. When Emperor Leo V the Armenian 813 resumed his iconoclastic warfare, he ordered Theophanes brought to Constantinople. The emperor tried in vain to induce him to condemn the same veneration of icons that had been sanctioned by the council. Theophanes was cast into prison and for two years suffered cruel treatment. After his release, he was banished to Samothrace in 817, where overwhelmed with afflictions, he lived only 17 days. He is credited with many miracles that occurred after his death, which most likely took place on 12 March, the day he is commemorated in the Roman Martyrology. <laughs> Chronicle at the urgent request of his friend George Sinkelis, Theophanes undertook the continuation of Sinkelis' chronicle, chronographia chronographia, during the years 810 to 815. The language used occupies a place midway between the stiff ecclesiastical and the vernacular Greek. He arguably made use of three main sources first, material already prepared by Synchelis, second, he probably made the use of a set of extracts made by Theodore Lecter from the works of Socrates Scholasticus, Sozomenus, and Theodoret, and third, the city chronicle of Constantinople. Cyril Mango has argued that Theophanes contributed but little to the chronicle that bears his name, and that the vast bulk of its contents are the work of Synchelis. On this model, Theophanes' main contribution was to cast Synchelis' rough materials together in a unified form, Theophanes. Part of the chronicle covered events from the accession of Diocletian in 284 which is the point where the chronicle of George Syncellus ends to the downfall of Michael I Rangabes in 813. This part of the chronicle is valuable for having preserved the accounts of lost authorities on Byzantine history for the 7th and 8th centuries that would be otherwise have been lost. The work consists of two parts, wherein the first provides a chronological history arranged per annum, and the second contains chronological tables that are regrettably full of inaccuracies. It seems that Theophanes had only prepared the tables, leaving vacant spaces for the proper dates, but that these had been filled out by someone else Hugo von Herder, Nomenlater Literarius Recenturis I, Innsbruck, 1903, 735. In the chronological first part, in addition to reckoning by the years of the world and the Christian era, Theophanes introduces in tabular form the regnal years of the Roman emperors, of the Persian kings and Arab caliphs, and of the five oecumenical patriarchs, a system which leads to considerable confusion, and therefore of little value. The first part, though lacking in critical insight and chronological accuracy, which could scarcely be expected from a man of such ascetical disposition greatly surpasses the majority of Byzantine chronicles. Theophanes's chronicle is particularly valuable beginning with the reign of Justin II, 565, srthe point in his work he drew upon sources that have not survived his times. Theophanes' 
Chronicle was much used by succeeding chroniclers, and in 873–875 a Latin compilation was made by the papal librarian Anastasius from the chronicles of Nicephorus, George Syncellus, and Theophanes for the use of a deacon named Johannes in the second half of the 9th century, and thus was known to Western Europe. There also survives a further continuation, in six books, of the chronicle down to the year 961 written by a number of mostly anonymous writers called Theophanes Continuatus or Scriptores Post Theophanum, who undertook the work at the instructions of Constantine Porphyrogenitus. Notes References Krumbacher, C. Geschichte der Byzantinischen Literatur, Attribution, this article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Mershman, Francis 1912. Street. Theophanes. In Herbermann, Charles. Catholic Encyclopedia, 14. New York, Robert Appleton. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Theophanes. Encyclopedia Britannica. 26 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Endnotes Editions of the Chronicle Adidio Princeps, Jacques Gore Paris, 1655 J. P. Migny, Petrologia Graeca, C. V. I. 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 Volume 108, Call 55-1009 J. Classen in Bon Corpus Scriptorum Hist. Byzantina, 1839-1841 C. De Boer, 1883 to 85, with an exhaustive treatise on the Miz and an elaborate index, and an edition of the Latin version by Anastasius Bibliothecarius. See also the monograph by Jules Pargeoir, Saint Theophane le chronographe et ses rapports avec Saint Theodore Studite, in Visvrum, Ix, Saint Petersburg, 1902. Editions of the continuation in J. P. Migny, Pere. G. R. C. I. X. I. Becker, Bon Corpus Scriptorum Hist. B. Y. Z. 1838. On both works and Theophanes generally, see C. C. Krumbacher, Geschichte der Byzantinischen Leitelrator, 1897. Ein Dithyrambus auf Theophanes Confessor, a panegyric on Theophanes by a certain Proto Asecrates, or Chief Secretary, under Constantine Porphyrogenitus, Eine Nui Vita de Theophanes Confessor, anonymous, both edited by the same writer in Sitzingsberch der Philos, Philol, und der Hist. C. Der K. Baer. A.K.A.D., der Wissenschaften, 1896, pp. 583 to 625 and 1897 pp 371 to 399 Gibbon's Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire ed Barry v p 500 Topic Further Reading Topic Mango Cyril 1978 Who wrote the Chronicle of Theophanes Zaborknik Radova Vizantinoskog Instituta, 18-9-18, republished in id, Byzantium and its image, London 1984. Comfus. Venice, 1729. An editions of the Chronicle with annotations and corrections. The Chronicle of Theophanes Confessor, Byzantine and Near Eastern History AD 284-813. Translated by Mango, Cyril, Scott, Roger. Oxford. 1997. A translations of the Chronicle. Topic. External links. Topic. Greek opera Omnia by Migni Petrologia Graeca with analytical indexes. Http colon slash 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 detaglio slash four four eight six zero. Http colon slash slash www.catholic.org slash saint slash saint. PHP, saint underscore it equals 815.